Once we've added our Pantone color to the job, we can now use the single patches button and the lab density tab to enable press sign to show us LAB and delta E values relating to that spot color. We need to ensure that the auto target button is selected. This enables press sign to recognize whether it's a cyan, magenta, yellow and black, an overprint color, red, green or blue, or indeed the spot color that we've designated in the job. I'm going to now just measure a color that's similar to the Pantone spot color that we've got listed in our job. And because it's similar enough, Press Sign has recognized because of the auto target button being turned on that I am measuring a Pantone 338C and it's given me a delta E of 17.23 away from that color. So just to reiterate, this is because in my job, I've got Pantone 338. I go back to the single patches button, lab density, and then I measure the patches on their own with that color in it. I will get the latest update regarding those numbers. So my target LAB values are here on the right my measured LAB values are on the left hand side. Here the target value is shown as a grey dot and my measured value is shown as the white dot. The distance between the two is calculated by press sign as being a delta E of 17.23.